The Grand Canal is an ancient waterway system connects the north and south of China. It is almost 3,000 years old and stretches more than 3,500 kilometers. It crosses 25 cities in six provinces, linking five major rivers. It was listed on the WHC in 2014. It is recognized as a masterpiece of hydraulic engineering system, contains different structures, changing water flow and pressure, keeping the total elevation difference within 50 meters. It represents human ancient knowledge, bravery and inventiveness. Its engineering structures include dikes, embankments, pound locks, dams, structures for flow reduction and bridges. This oldest the longest canal has witnessed the Chinese ancient culture transition. It is still used as transportation system of trading and agricultural development today. At earlier times, the initial purpose of the canal system was for warring ambitions. It all started here. King Futai ordered to open the Hangul Canal near Yangzhou connecting Yangtze and Huai River for marching north to unify China. Later, King Hui ordered to dig the Hongul Canal linking Yellow and Huai by the Tai River. And then, Qin Shi Huang united the six states. He fully utilized the Hongul Canal, transporting grain to unite the empire. Since then, the purpose of the canal started to shift from warrior ambition to economic and political matter. Also, he initiated the construction of the Great Wall. Its purpose was to protect China from the Mongol attackers. The Grand Canal became an important route linking economic and political center, maintaining the unified China. The key person was the Emperor Yang. He ordered to open the Tongji Canal, linking the Yellow and Huai River. He later had the Yongji Canal open to the Yellow River. This ensured the waterway transportation between agricultural, political, and military towns. When Beijing became the new capital of China, the Yuan Dynasty has revived the canal after the war, supplying from south to the north. The emperor ordered to open the Huitong Canal, linking Sichui, Yellow River, and the Wei Canal. From then, the distance traveling from Beijing to Hangzhou has shortened by 500 kilometers. Since the establishment of People's Republic of China in 1949, they continue to restore and renovate it. Today, the Grand Canal plays an important role as drainage of decayed water, irrigation, flood discharge, water supply, town construction along the river, and environmental ecology. The Grand Canal is now facing serious challenges like renovation and protection, pollution, and buffer zones. China cannot rely on the Western principles, but has to find its own way suitable for the economic and cultural circumstances. The public attention is also required to be more adequate to contribute. The future of the Grand Canal remains in the hand of the Chinese people for protection and preservation. It is one of their biggest topics to keep this national treasure for future generations.